inverse ratio here, how do we get gross profit? Then sales minus cost of goods sold. Then sales minus cost of goods sold, and how much did we get? Um, no. <coughs> um, for gross profit? Oh, no. Um, 26,000. 26,000, and then the gross profit percentage we want to know is gross profit and its relationship with net sales amount, right? So net sales amount is $65,000. Gross profit is $26,000. We use $26,000 divided by $65,000. This gives you the information of for every dollar of sales, how much gross profit you're getting out of it. Okay, so gross profit is 40% uh, proportion of the total net sales revenue. Okay, so if last season was 35, or last season was 32, any dollar, any percentage below that, this season 40 would seem as an increasing trend for gross profit. Okay, the higher the better compared to prior seasons. Now for rate of inventory turnover, we want to understand how quickly inventory is being sold out to the customer. How many times cost of goods sold exceeds average inventory level? So it tells you cost of goods sold directly, it's $39,000. An average level of inventory will be using beginning inventory plus ending inventory. Add them together divided by two. So you have 5,000 plus 3,000 divided by two. This is the average level of inventory, $4,000. Cost of goods sold is the total amount of inventory expense that has incurred in this season. So altogether, 39,000. So we're trying to understand the relationship between these two. The higher this is, that means the quicker a company is selling their purchased inventory into, turning purchased inventory into sales. Okay, so this 9.75 times represent that cost of goods sold expense is 9.75 times over average level of inventory. So this again, the higher the better. Last season was 9 or 8, then this season we have been accelerating the pace of selling um, inventory to customers. The last season was higher than this, then that means this season we have been slowing down a little. So this problem only asks you about two ratios. If I add another question, days is in inventory, then you'll be using the 9.75 to divide 365 days. Okay, days in inventory, we're trying to understand is the number of days average level of inventory is actually in the company. <coughs> so this part gives you the cycle of inventory from the beginning it's purchased in on average how long of a time does it stay in the business before it's being sold out to customer so if you calculate this that will give you how much we'll give you 37.4 and the unit here is days so on average it stays in the business for about a month so a little bit more than a month 37.4 days and we're using the inventory turnover rates to divide 365 days. So next season, if this ratio, this inventory turnover rate goes up, then this part will go up or down. I'm not getting the question. If this exceeds to about 11 times, let's say, how would this affect next season and days in inventory? It will go down. Okay, so if this <coughs> goes up, the denominator goes up, then the number of days will go down because you have been selling items to customer in a quicker pace, faster pace. Okay, so on the opposite side, if this goes down, the inventory turnover rate is lower next season. If this goes down, then that means the average number of days that inventory is there in the company is longer compared to last season. Okay, this has an opposite direction. Any questions on the ratios for this chapter? <coughs> so 
the following chapters, we'll be introducing a few ratios that relates to that specific chapter. Okay, as we go over different topics, this topic is on this chapter is on the topic of inventory. So you have some ratios that relate to sales, that relates to inventory turnover rate. Later on in chapter eight and nine, we have assets and then liability, and then cash flows. We have other ratios that you'll need to you'll be introduced to that helps you evaluate transactions that relates to that topic. Okay, but overall, it's just using different angles to evaluate the position of the business in different seasons. Okay, oftentimes these ratios are based on comparison. When you look at different financial statements for across different years, different seasons, you can compare the trend of these ratios, whether it went up or down. Okay, statistically evaluated businesses' health. 